G'day, how you going? This is Ian Harris from Australia and today we've got a beautiful easy beginners painting. It's a two moon lake, two moons over a lake in acrylic. Okay, so this is what we're going to paint today. So strap yourself in for some fun and acrylic art, okay? Okay, so let's get this onto the easel. Now it's a 300 by 400 canvas board, but it doesn't matter what size it is. Paint whatever size you want. A lot of people ask, what size is it? It doesn't matter to me. But this one's 300 by 400. Right, let's get into the paints. Now we have orange. This one is cadmium orange. I've got mid yellow. We've got our white. That's a sculptured white, titanium white I'm using. The sexy phalo blue. Comes good with white blended in it. And dioxine purple. And the brushes I'm gonna use is my scenery brush. My filbert brush my blending brush, and a hog bristle fan brush, okay? Also, we're gonna be using retarder, a spray bottle, and you're gonna need a piece of paper, two of them cut out for the size of your moon, which will involve some masking tape, okay? All right, as a normal old spray me canvas board, put a bit of wetness onto the paint. I've got retarder on me um, palette here. So I'm gonna pull the paint in the retarder because this, I'm only gonna do the top half first and then the bottom half second because we're not gonna lose a lot of time. All right, we'll grab our yellow, mixing retarder in it. Now what I wanna do is grab the filbert brush, mix all that yellow with its retarder. Now we're working from this side up. I want to get the yellows roughly where I want it with the filbert brush, okay? And this is going to let things blend as well. That's the good thing about it. So I've cleaned my big blending brush. And we're going to get this all over the board roughly where we want all our yellows, okay? And then we'll get our oranges into there, okay? All right, now we're getting our orange with the retarder. And we're going to put the orange through here as well. I'm just using that filbert brush again. Bit of hair there, that's no good. Just get it in between all those white areas there. Now grab your blending brush that you've just cleaned and blend that orange everywhere. Try not to kill those yellows. But you're blending it to the yellow, okay? Look at that, nice, simple, easy blending with that retarder, I love it. See that, that wasn't too hard. Now we're gonna get some clouds. Now getting the fan brush, I've got a hog bristle one. I'm using the sculptured white. This doesn't have retarder in it, all this is still wet remembering. So now what we wanna try and do is create all this blendable stuff, but be picking up all the, um, see what I'm doing here? I'm picking up all them yellows. Get this one back on its corner, swing it around. Try and create puffy clouds. See what I'm doing there? Try not to be too uniform, because all those colors we put under there is what's getting picked up. Now what I'll do is I'll put that down. Now we'll blend the bottom of this into there. Not too much, because we don't want to kill everything. Blend that, blend that, blend. Because see, what we've got to do here is virtually the same on the bottom for the reflection of the blues. Now we clean our brush. Pick up our paint again and start another in front of there. Twist it around so you're getting it onto the board. You know, don't just hope for the best and go, oh, it's not working and keep going. Get it on there, make it happen. The only way you can make a painting happen is you yourself. Now what I want to do, I'm just picking up a bit of orange because I want a bit of orange here. See what I've done? Put it in it, swirl it around. Look 
That'll do. Now I want to blend that again. I hope you can see okay. We want some more clouds probably here. Now you're lucky at home, you don't have to rush like I do. You get to muck around with this. I'd love to muck around with this, but I don't have time, okay? But what I'm going to do, see here? I'm just gonna put some more paint on my fan brush and kind of put some crowns on that. So it's sitting this one in front of that one. And believe me, the more, the more clouds you do, the more knowledge you'll get over them, okay? Now, We'll blow dry this so we can put this top moon stencil on. Okay, we've got our moon cut out. We'll put that roughly in the middle. Now this moon we want painted heavy at the bottom and it's going to fade at the top for this type of design, okay? All right, we've got our household sponge. We're wetting it. You're not soaking it, you're just wetting it. Now we're getting some beautiful clean white paint again. I'm using the structured white paint. And we're gonna get the bottom of this. So I want it about coming from there. Okay. Then, so it's a matter of playing with it. Get it faded up the edge there, very faded. Same on this side, very faded. Dance your way around this moon. That's the best way to paint a moon. Now we want to blend him up, just like so. Now because it's got orange in there, we're going to use a bit of orange, but without retarder, just to... Um, break up that white if you know what I mean just just something to jib jab you know that's normally when we're painting the moon I'm using the greys with this one I'm using the orange now we go back to the white and just crisp the edge up you can even do this with a brush once you've taken the stencil off if you like. But this is putting the curvature to the moon, the illusion that it looks round, not flat on your picture, okay? Let's have a look at that. That's fine. Now there was a cloud here. This one here. See how that white paint is going in front. We'll give it a bit of a blend. Just be careful not to blend your balloon or uh, your your moon away. You could probably dry your moon before you do this. And what I meant by later on, you'll probably get a paintbrush and really crisp the edge of that up nice and white. But that's our top half done. All right, we've got the top half done. This is the time where you can stop and have yourself a coffee. I've got cold coffee here. You need to hydrate yourself when you're doing such a mind using, like art, you need something to hydrate yourself. So now what we're gonna do, oh, we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna do another one on the other side. Let's dry that first. Now we're gonna tape up our horizon line. So I want this white bit left in there, so that's roughly where I wanna, about here. Now we'll do the same again. We're gonna get a bit of water on there. We have our white paint retarded up to Prime this half of the board. Get a lot on there. So you've got something to pull through your blue colours. That's just the way I see it. 
Now the blue I'm going to use, like I said before, is phalo blue. Phalo blue is one of the spunky colours, one of the really great, hey look at me, I'm hot colours, it's great, I love it. Now with this, I want the lighter blues here, darker, and we're going to put the dioxin way down there. So we're just going to put this in, we want to leave bits for white though as well, okay. So this is sort of, that'll do it. Let's blend this in. Leaving lights and darks. And now the rest is going to be the dioxine purple. But see what that pathalo blue, it looks hot, sexy. I love it. Now I'm going to wash this brush. I'll come a bit closer for you so you can get a better look. With some retarder in it as well. Heavy it on on the corners. Crisp it into the painting. Because this is going to have bands coming through it. You'll know what I mean once I start blending it. At the very edge here, paint that in. And just the tangiblest, smallest bit of bands coming through that blue because we want this to be bold and creating a statement. Wipe your brush because I want to keep that little bit of blue in here if I can. See? Get all this back on. Wipe the brush. Now those bands that we put in blend in to that blue. Wipe your brush. It's important to wipe your brush. Smash it on your apron or your tablecloth and see what we're doing. We're, we created the darker bottom side of the sky here. Put some tickle it and whisper it into there. Now I just want to really darken up this again here down the very bottom. Just a bit there and that's it. So easy. All right, let's get some clouds on here, eh? Swing it around. Get dark some white, swing it around. See what's happened there? This is real blurry looking cloud, this one. But that's what I want. Blend. Blend. Wash the brush. See, I want really bright and really blended dolls there and then at the end you can touch it up. Uh, let's get a little bit there, even if it's like the mist, doesn't matter. Blend that nicely, just gives the painting character and texture, it's lovely. That's fine. Now we'll do some more in front of that watch. Don't go too much because we've got to put the moon in, remember? See, but a cloud is so easy. Look, I've just done it any old way. <clears throat> any old way. There's no trick. The trick is blending. Let's blend that to a, a reasonable look. If you blend it wrong, your cloud's gone wrong. You clean that brush. And we'll put some here. Look at that, just putting it on. And blend them. Blend them down. Don't blend them in. If you want, I'll do a video on my style of clouds, just ex solely on clouds, the principle the makeup of a cloud if you like. Subscribe, comment below and let me know. All right, that'll do, that's, you know, you can go on for days and days until the cows come home, but that'll do for our sky. Now there's our bottom one. We want this in line roughly with that. So that's gonna go about there. Okay, 
grab your sponge that you've cleaned earlier. Now we're going to put this. Get a bit of blue, the sexy phalo blue. twisting and manipulating those colours. And I just want to crisp up the edge of that sky now. I mean, not the sky, the moon. Before we finish, like we did before, we'll sink the moon into the sky. So getting some of the, the white there. So find the areas. Just about here. Now this just has to be misty. Sink, you can sink the moon back with the misty clouds. So miss that in front of it. Look at that. See, that's blending a bit different because We've dried all that retarder now. Put this in front of it. And a roundabout way, blend in. And blend that. Anyway, there's our. So that's the way the picture's going to be. Now we're going to put our horizon line in there, okay? Okay, I'm going to grab my flat scenery type brush. I'll give it a bit of a damp. And now we're using the dioxine purple. This is not retarded. Okay, there's no magical way I'm putting this under my brush. I just got it right in there. And we're going to come across the middle where our horizon line is. See, I've dried everything there. So I've got nothing on me there. And it allows this not to mud up. Now what we're doing, I'm doing the top and the bottom at the same time. I'll get some more on there. The, the paint needs to have a bit of water splashed in it so it flows off your brush onto the canvas better. See, I'm just twisting as I go to getting the top and the bottom. Really whisper those edges. Make them nice and soft and whispery. Not real thick and gluggy. Now we'll come across to the other side and finish it off. So where are we come about here? Get your brush now, turn it vertical and start coming up like this. Down, up and down. So whatever you've done, you've already done the bottom with the top, okay? It's very fun and very easy. Let's keep going. You don't want to go too big, just sort of control your Vs and whatnots. That's plenty there. Now fix it up if you need to. One thing I get is a lot of people say, I want to do your painting, but it's not as good as yours. No painting is better than another painting. They're just different. Understand that. Everybody is a different artist. Your work, that time and effort you put into your work is your art. And because you're not 
in your mind maybe as popular as somebody else or as much out there, it doesn't mean it's less art, it's just different. I'd really like everyone to understand that. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, that was a nice easy exercise for beginners in acrylic. We'll call this one Two Moon Lake. Okay, please like and share all my work and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this, tell a friend. If you don't, tell everybody. Goodbye, good luck, good on ya.